What's up, guys? How's, how's fall camp been for you guys? It's been good. I mean, now we're into the second week, second phase of what's going on. It's not bright. It's not fresh. It's not all that good stuff like that. So guys have to fight through stuff. This is where the mental toughness part kicks in of, of okay, now it's Groundhog Day. I get up early. I go to a meeting I get, or I get taped. I go to a meeting. I eat breakfast. I come out and practice. I go back in, take care of my body. I go to another meeting. I go to a walkthrough. I do all that stuff like that. Now it's teaching guys how to fight through that, which is basically getting through the season. I and mean, the season becomes the same way. Massey's been uh, lookouts. I see you. <laughs> Massey's been a little bit obviously heard, but that's kind of looks like it's a lot of opportunities from other guys. You know, Mod Moses looks like one guy who's kind of making some plays. What have you seen from him so far in his first fall camp? Mod Moses is doing really well. Uh, the traits that we saw on film uh, are showing up out here. He's doing a really good job for a young guy. We haven't sugarcoated anything. We haven't slowed down the installation. We haven't chopped down what we're doing for him. He's adapted really well. And I'm very very happy with his progress. About another new guy and, and Chris that, that came in this summer and, and kind of jumped right in. Yeah, Chris, Nick, all those guys that came in this summer that were welcomed additions have, have really pushed guys, jumped in, uh, created some versatility we have with guys so we can play multiple guys and, and do that. So that's opened up some options for us. What's the difference between, you know, kind of the group you had in the spring and now? Like, what do you, what do you see that, that are, you're either encouraged by or still need to work on? I, I think uh, Coach Grizz and his staff uh, receive a lot of credit on the difference. Uh, they're, they're in better shape. They move better. They're stronger, uh, which translates into more physical tackling, getting off the blocks. Those guys should be credited. The work those guys put in on their own this summer, learning the scheme. Now they know it. This is the third installation of it, basically, because you installed it in spring. They did it in the summer, so this is the third time they're actually There's more confidence in what they're doing, so that shows up. Um, uh, so that's been a, a good deal. And there's more competition out there. Have you been surprised by anything at camp so far? No, nah, I mean, nothing really jumps out. I mean, it's the, the freshman. I mean, Moses coming in and doing what he's done. He's done a good job. Uh, Pierre Gorey wasn't even here uh, in the summer until late because of his track uh, exploits, which is understandable. He's picked things up well. So uh, for what's been expected of them, they've – met that level or exceeded which is really good are you seeing pierre kind of translate that insane speed athleticism on, into the safety spot you know well or and he... it's 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 hard to open up and do things full speed I and mean, his his strength in a race is that 50 to 60 to 70 yards um so i mean it, yeah he's big fast and physical without a doubt uh but just like lightning fast speed you see it on kickoff coverage you see it on different aspects that he's doing some other things so yeah it's fun to watch how has the defensive whole been preparing to add more consistency to the season? how you practice that's how you do everything how you do one thing is how you do everything how you show up for a meeting how do you lock into a walk here? how do i take care of my body for between practices do i make my way how you do one thing is how you do everything so when little things slide off the field, they're certainly going to slide on the field. So it's been preaching consistency and discipline in everything we do.